And as we continue to update you on the number of cases in Florida, we turn now to the state's health department website, which updates us twice a day. Now, there's a wealth of information which goes well beyond the numbers. CBS 4 Steve Goldstein continues our live team coverage live from our newsroom. Steve. Elliot Rudabay, thanks. You know, we take a look at the numbers on the state's website, and you can access it yourself. Go to cbsmiami.com backslash coronavirus. Now, the facts are the facts. We saw a jump in the number of reported deaths in Miami-Dade County in the last 24 hours. Percentage-wise, it was significant, but not to be alarming, because keep in mind, there's now more testing being done, so the numbers will go up. Let's take a look. Here in Dade, we're up to 19 deaths, 12 of them reported since yesterday. So that's a large percentage jump as more testing is being done. Dade also has a high number of positive tests at 17%. The state average is about 10%. We'll go to Florida testing and take a look. Here is the state total, 78,000 total tests. We see the positives are about 10%, and there the total number of deaths at 128 in the state of Florida. Head over to Broward County. See the numbers there, and a total now in Broward County of 17 deaths. Testing continues to rise, so with that, so will the positive results, the hospitalizations, and the death numbers as well. So it's still difficult to determine any trends on these numbers, as unfortunately, due to the slow rollout of tests and the fact that we are still likely fairly early on in this crisis. In the newsroom, Steve Goldstein, back to the studio. All right, Steve, thanks a lot. You can certainly tell that this is a statewide problem, that, that's for sure.